Hi, welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today's tutorial is going to be on how to show and hide fields on JotForm. So follow me for some examples on my dashboard right now. All right, this is JotForm's dashboard, and let's get started with some conditional logic to show and hide fields. So let's go ahead and open up a blank form. So let's edit this form that we have right here. And let's drag in some basic elements to give you some examples of how we're going to show and hide fields. So let's grab some elements right here. We're going to want full name. Let's add address, a date picker, some short text, and let's drag in a drop down menu and a terms and conditions. So let's go ahead and drag that in here. Okay, we're going to want this on the bottom. Okay, so we have some basic elements right here. And the idea is to show and hide fields depending on what people select. So for example, let's go ahead and start with some conditional logic. Let's go into settings, conditions. Let's go ahead, show and hide fields. And this is what we're going to work with. So let's go ahead and select, for example, date. And let's choose what we want to do with this field to show and hide an additional field. So if we say the day is before or after such date, for example, if it's after, and we can select the value here. So for example, if you know that someone is not 18 or older, you can set the date right here to not show and hide fields. This could be a way to use it, but we'll leave it this way. So if the date is after this, we're going to do something. So we're going to show the submit button. Okay, so what does that mean? That if the date is before this value that we've selected, it's not going to show the submit form. So let's go ahead and save this conditional logic and let's preview this form to show you how easy it actually is to show and hide fields. So by default, we don't have a submit button. So we could use this in a certain case, for example, if that person you know is not 18 or older, they can not submit this form. So for example, in this case, if we select anything before the date that we selected, the submit button is not going to appear. But if it's, for example, something after that date, then we have the submit button. And by that case, we can use it for several reasons. Okay, let's get rid of this one for now. Let's remove it by deleting. Okay, let's go to our form right here. Another example that I'm going to show you is this one. Let's just say we have a question right here. Question one would be, for example, support, um, let's say sales, accountant okay and the question is going to be right here for example ticket number okay let's go ahead and go into settings conditions show and hide field and now we're going to get started with this one so we're going to say if the question is equal to for example support then we want to show the ticket number okay so this could be for several reasons that you might need that ticket number or additional information if they select that show and hide field. So let's go ahead and preview this form to show you what's going to happen. So right now we have the question right here. If they are looking for sales, we don't need the ticket. Okay. But if they want support, then we require this ticket and we can make it a required field. So this is additional information that we can show and hide depending what they select. Let's go ahead and show you another show and hide field example. So let's delete this one, go into builder. And remember we have agree in terms and conditions. So let's just say if they don't click and if they, if they don't agree, we don't let them submit that. So let's go ahead into settings, conditions, show and hide fields. And we're going to set terms and conditions. If it's filled, for example, okay, we are going to show the submit button. So let's save this. Let's go ahead and test it. And by default, we don't have a submit button. So if they don't agree to the terms and conditions, they are not able to submit this form. So let's go ahead and agree. And now we have the submit button. Well, that is how we use show and hide fields on JotForm. Thank you for watching. My name is George and I'll see you later. Bye bye.